Welcome back. I can't deal with this. This is unavoidable. Obviously. We're headed back to Slateport now to deliver the Devon goods to Captain Stern. Because, you know, that sort of thing still matters. Yeah, something's up now. We can actually progress in the quest in Slateport City now, with, um... Where is it? Remember how there were a bunch of goons lined up outside this museum earlier? Well, no longer. That's because they're all inside, as you'll see. This TM is Thief. It's a 40 base power dark type move. Um. When you use it on another Pokemon that's holding an item, then your Pokemon will steal that item. It's useful in some circumstances, but not all of them. Um, if I ever find one where I actually need it, I'll tell you about it. But right now, I've got no one who can who can uh, learn it in the first place, because I have no dark types or any sort of remotely sinister Pokemon. I like what this guy says. I like that. Uh, this is one of the admins, I think. But she doesn't battle you now. Our boss, the linchpin, isn't here. So you've got to go upstairs and encounter uh, this man. And here's Captain Stern, and here's the Devon Goods. When suddenly... I can't, I can't risk Phantasm in these battles. I think I remember what Pokemon they are. This is the first glimpse you get of Team Aqua's actual Aqua-type nature. This is Carvanha. It's a dark water type piranha type po piranha looking Pokemon that you will encounter a lot in your battles with Team Aqua, this being the first time. I'm going to use Double Kick, because I know as a dark type it's very weak to double kick, and I actually don't have another Pokemon that can defeat this Carvanha at this moment. So Nikolai is going to have to just do it and I'm gonna have to not look back. But anyways. Next trainer here is this other Team Aqua member. Who, what's he gonna use on me? He's a Zubat, which is probably Ember Fodder. But if he uses a confusion move on me, I'm gonna be sort of sad. Okay, Leech Life, which is useless in its entirety. Okay, I might as well use Peck. Not, not be, like it's gonna matter in the future. And here we have another Carvanha. This can be dealt with with a single kick. Yeah, okay, so as you can see, they're not too difficult to defeat if you have Pokemon with stats on your side. I think Phantasm could could have uh, gotten knocked out to either of those Carvanas though, just because Wing Attack would damage it ever would damage Phantasm from that ability of Rough Skin every time I use it. This is the leader, um, Archie. He's very pirate themed. He's one of my favorite um, leaders from the history of Pokemon, actually. I like Archie a lot more than I like the corresponding uh, guy for team, the other team uh, from a Pokemon Ruby version. Uh, it's Maxi. He's not pirate-themed, he's just red-themed. But this guy is totally pirate-themed. And Okay, so now I've entirely completed my quest task in its entirety, and I can officially progress with the storyline. Again, not as though I care. But... Let's see, where else do I have to go? Um, I think these goons are going to be gone from up here. You 
Yeah, so see, now you can walk north. There is a time for purism. That time is not now. I'm going to use Athlon. I'm going to pretend as though I caught him when I was supposed to have caught him, because he's been in stasis since then. I think it's foolish for me to just waste my attempt like that. I'm just going to use him, and if I feel bad about him, then I feel bad about him. I'm going to need Lily here, not actually for the uh, battling prowess, but I'm going to need to, I'm going to need her for a cut for in the immediate future. So let's see, does Lily know cut already? Yeah, Lily already knows cut. So I'm not actually going to battle with her, but in case I was going to, I haven't used her since the previous heal anyway, so it's not illegitimate. <sighs> okay, there are a bunch of trainers up here. A bunch of trainers against whom using Afflin is unwise. In fact, I rather think the correct course of action is to uh, train Afflin up a teeny bit. But I don't actually want to risk him getting poisoned. So, because that would suck. Because I don't have a Pokemon that can deal with poison. Um, what I do have is... Yeah, I have one Paralyze heal, but that's the only thing I can do to uh, cure status. So, I'm going to get ready to use my Paralyze Heal, because this trainer has a minion, which is a, a Fire-type Pokemon that's sort of obnoxious and that it always uses Thunder Wave on you. Or a Plusle and a Minon, Plusle being the equally obnoxious counterpart to the Minon. Well, hopefully Ember's a one-hit KO, but I know it isn't. Yeah, see, here we go, I got Thunder Waved already. So, I'm gonna use my Paralyze Heal, and I'm gonna use my Paralyze Heal here, otherwise I'm gonna die, but... Let's see how many Pokémon I can get away with beating up with Mikalay first. A Paralyzed Mikalay is a crippled Mikalay, but... And, and I'm very clearly going to need to use my Paralyze Heal, and you'll see why in a couple of minutes, because... There will come a battle that cannot be won without the use of Mikalay. Oh god, it's got a healing thing? Okay, it's got an Orin Berry, which restores its health by some sort of negligible percentage of hit points. Okay, let's see if there are any more bloody Pluzel Mine trainers around here. If there aren't, then I'll heal myself, and if there are, then I guess I will be unable to, won't I? Uh, let's see. Is there someone here who has a Plusal and or Minon? That's my question. I think you might. I don't think anyone else has a chance of it. So I'm going to try and battle you without the uh, Plusal Minon thing. Without the uh, using the Paralyze Heal, and then I think I'm going to immediately use it after that. Yeah, so here's a Roselia. Roselia knows a bunch of really scary moves because they poison you, and you know, poison sort of makes you waste a heal on preventing your Pokemon from dying. But luckily, I'm paralyzed, which means I can't become poisoned. See, there's the benefit to having a status. If you have a status like paralysis already, then you can't get a, another one that makes that has a little icon like you see pear. Then you can't get another status like that. Like, I can't become poisoned now, and I can't become burned, and I can't be put to sleep. No matter how, how hard this Roselia tries, and no matter how many times it uses poison powder on me. I'm still paralyzed, and paralysis, of course, comes with its own detriments, but... It's nice to at least be immune to one thing. Okay, so... Defeated you. That's great. Uh, we have another double battle in our way now. Okay, let's see, let's see what I can get by cutting down this tree. And the other tree. Lots of cutty trees. <sighs> There's an item. I don't know what kind it is. It's a guard special that's useless to me. It's like it's like an X attack, except I don't even know what it does because I've never used it. There are berries that I can't pick. Uh, actually, you know what? I think that guy actually has a Plusle and Mine on it, so I'm going to battle him first, and then I'm going to use my Paralyze Heal. And then I'm going to battle the twins, and then I'm going to battle the uh, water guy. 
I don't know, he might have like a skitty or something, but you know, that doesn't matter, because double kick is pretty good against skitties. Okay, what have you got? Yeah, you do have a skitty. Skitty is death for Mikola. Oh, that's annoying. <laughs> oh god. So attract is this move that causes this uh, confusion-like status condition to afflict any Pokemon of the, of the opposite gender to it. So, I don't know. If I can actually get off a double kick, then I will destroy it easily. So see now, watch, there's a 50% chance that that'll happen, that I'll be immobilized by love. If I can actually get off a double kick on this skitty through the, the haze of status affliction that it has afflicted me with, then I will easily one-hit KO it. Okay, that's good. So, see, that's the problem with doing things like Attract. Yes, it can annoy your opponent to no end, especially if they're already paralyzed like my foolish Mikole was, but at the same time, in the end, it often turns out to not really be worth it. Okay, so I'm going to use my Paralyze Heal at this moment so that I can go into uh, this battle with decently prepared Pokemon. So, yeah, this is a double battle, which is sort of troublesome. Ooh, that's scary. I need to get a, I need to get Phantasm out of there. Hi! I don't like that. I didn't know that was gonna happen to me. <sighs> okay. Switch out for Aflin because I need to, because otherwise I'll die. Plain and simple. Otherwise, dying will happen. Mikola has to use double kick, which means I probably waste my wasted my paralyze heal like an idiot. Okay. Phantasm grew to level 18. Man, is it good you weren't in that battle, Phantasm? Um, uh, I actually don't really want to die. You know what? I think I'm less likely to get paralyzed. Due no, because they don't have static. That's right, I am foolish. These Pokemon don't even have static, because they're too busy having plus and minus, which is utter which are utterly useless abilities that only work when your partner Pokemon is a Pluzzle or a Minin. See, most Electric-type Pokemon have this ability called static, which occasionally paralyzes you if you hit them with contact moves, such as Double Kick. You know, Double Kick is a contact move because you contact the opposing Pokemon's face with your foot, and occasionally you can become paralyzed from doing this. Uh right. Right, so... Uh, the next trainer has some sort of Pokemon. I think. So I'm gonna go ahead and use Phantasm, because I think he's a Water-type person. And if he turns out to have a bunch of magic cards, then I'll switch out, but I don't think he will. I'm of the opinion that he probably has, like, Tentacles or something instead. And Tentacles... Oh, that's such a Magikarp. <laughs> oh, it's a really weak Magikarp, but I'm still gonna switch out because I'd sort of rather have Pokemon in that don't suck. <laughs> I mean, sorry, it's a, it's a really weak Magikarp, but I'd rather not run out of a Wing Attack power points this early on. Because remember, I still have to get through the entire rest of the route and get all the way to Mauville City like this. So, yeah, you can see Aflin's already kind of close to the next level, which, again, would be great if Aflin wasn't likely to die soon. Okay, what do we have now? Yeah, here we here we have a Tentacool, which can be put to sleep with Yawn. I don't even think that's worth my while, though. I'm just going to pound it and see what happens. Oh, yeah, see, it's faster than me anyway, so why bother, right? Uh, let's see... Yeah, well, I guess I have to switch back out. And I'll switch to Mikalei this time, because I don't think it knows any moves that are that scary, and then I'll kill it with Peck or something. Or defeat it with Peck. That's a move that's scary. I'm a fan of not being poisoned. Thank you. Alright, that was scary. Alright, Aflin grew to level 14, and Aflin learned Sludge. One of the greatest moves in the early game of this po of Pokemon Sapphire is Sludge. 
Sludge is awesome. Okay, so this Magikarp is level 15, which means it actually does a damaging move, Tackle. However, its stats are still terrible because it's a Magikarp, so you should be able to two-hit KO it anyways. See, that's a critical hit, and it did five, count them, five points of damage to me. So, yeah, not all that scary. Uh, defeated Fisherman Andrew. That's perfect. Okay, he's angry about something. I don't really care. Alright, so next up on our agenda is this place called the Trick House, which is this sort of weird house full of a bunch of tricks that changes after every gym badge that, after every gym badge challenge that you take on. So right now we're going to a battle the first iteration of the Trick House, which begins here. I'm going to switch to Aflin in front because I like Aflin, and Aflin could do some good damage in the Trick House. And yeah, let's do this. You're being watched. That sparkle there gives away where the uh, Trick Master is hiding. He's sort of the uh, owner and proprietor of the Trick House, and he hides when you when you come in if he's got some sort of challenge for you. So. Behind this squirrel, there's a giant back room full of trainers, and it's this back room that is sort of occasionally changed to reflect uh, different challenges and things that you will be uh, made to be going against. So, anyways, they have three trainers. E there are three trainers in each of the uh, Trick House challenges, and this one appears to be cut themed. What a coincidence! I got Lily before coming to this area. That's because I remember that it was a cut themed challenge. Okay, so this is Oddish. Oddish is a grass poison type Pokemon. I think Sludge will two hit KO it. If it doesn't, then I'm risking getting hit with some sort of status. Ew, Sludge does not two hit KO it at all. Sludge four hit KOs it. I don't really like Stun Spore, but hey, it's better that Athlon take the hit than, than someone like Mikale, who really can't afford to get paralyzed at all. It's better that a Pokemon who I may not end up using all that often, and who furthermore is very slow as it stands, takes the Stun Spore, rather than someone who will die if subjected to Stun Spore. Okay, so Absorb is not going to do very much. Yep. <laughs> Three damage, because Poison types are resistant to Grass type moves. Yeah, that's right. So, yeah, Afflin's growing pretty quickly. Why so serious? <laughs> Anyways, so... Indeed, you just sort of explore around the trick house, and what you have to do is, there's this scroll that you have to find, and upon finding the scroll, uh, you can, uh, enter the, uh, you can, uh, escape this, uh, area of the trick house, and move on to... See, there's the scroll right there, if you can see by that trainer who's partially obscured by the top of my screen. You have to go there, um, press A next to the scroll, and it will reveal... See, also, uh, the different passages have various items in them, most, most of them useless, like mail, which, it doesn't even do anything, it's not like I'm not allowed to use it, it actually does nothing, mail, so, <sighs> indeed, you have to get to that scroll, there will be some sort of password that you have to memorize, and then you can go to the, uh, end of the trick house and, uh, get out. So, yeah, I'm sort of conflicted on what to do about Athlan now, because now that he's paralyzed, he's sort of... Uh, threatening to be defeated imminently, and I'm kind of of the view that I should heal him. It's not the best use of a super potion, but, but hey, uh, I want Athlon to be trained well enough. Just who is the Trick Master? Yeah, you never really find out who this guy is. He's just sort of a random little challenge that, de that the developers put in, and frankly, I'm kind of fond of him, but okay, so here we go, Sludge. Unfortunately, the Skitty is not my gender, which means watch as I get attracted to Oblivion. Paralysis plus attraction equals death, anyone? Okay, um, so... Yeah, this is the situation where I switch out to Mikalei, because I don't really like how this is developing, and I know Mikalei can probably one-hit KO most of what he's got with Double Kick. And now I'm immediately subjected to Attract. Right, go figure, right? Okay, let's see what happens if I switch out now, again, to, uh... God, all of my Pokemon are male. I have no one here who, who can be, um, assured of freedom from the ravages of Attract. Um... I'll switch on back to Athlon and see what happens. Hopefully I won't get hit with Double Slap, because it's an annoying move that I don't like. 
Oh, good, Sing. I'm really glad that I switched there, huh? Sing is this move that puts you to sleep if it hits. It rarely hits, but if you are become slept by Sing, it sort of ends up making your life entirely miserable because then your Pokemon can't act for between, I believe, it's two and five turns, which, you know, in a Nuzlocke is easily enough for you to get killed by something. And it essentially leaves your Pokemon incapacitated for the rest of some fair length of time, so... Yes, indeed. It's safe to switch to Mikolai here. You don't have to fear the Sing, because the AI knows that using Sing on Gulpin, because Gulpin is already paralyzed, will accomplish nothing. So, it's actually, it was actually, I think, decently safe for me to switch out to Mikolai there, because I knew that I wouldn't get sung. Or, unless the AI is more random than I remember it being, but I don't think it is. Okay, anyways, what's up next? I think it's a... These scare me. The appropriate response is to double kick. Yeah, just plow on through it with your level 23 strength, because there's not a whole lot else you can do. And finally we have, I think, a Zigzagoon. No, a thing that's weak to fire-type moves. My choices here are two. I could hope that this is a one-hit KO and that I don't get status moved, which is unreliable, or I could switch out to Aflan and destroy it with the poison-type move that's super effective against it. I'm going to go for option 2, and it looks like I should have gone for option 1. But at least this way Aflan gets some experience. And I mean, it's not like Shroomish is going to do a whole lot of damage to me on account of the whole grass-type, poison-type thing. And I mean, Tackle can do something, but it's not going to be sort of likely to be fatal. Especially if the Shroomish keeps using Absorb every other second. Because Aflan being paralyzed makes him something of a status absorber, even if it's really annoying for him to be paralyzed. Because, okay, see, there we go. And Sludge uh, finishes the job. So ends the reign of the cruel and terrible Shroomish. Alright, so I've defeated the second Pokemon in this half of the Trick House. And Pokemon Trainer, you're strong. Just who are you? I don't know who I am anymore. I thought I knew, but after the second gym, I don't know anything. Okay, so this way leads to the uh, the top branch of the path, which, as we've seen already, does not lead to where I'm supposed to be going. It leads to the end, which means I have to go there eventually, but first I need to go get the scroll to memorize the password on in order to get out. So, let's see, here's the third and final trainer. I think he's the one who's got the Zigzagoon. I'm not really in the mood to, to risk the health of my Pokemon, so I'm probably just going to go ahead and defeat him with Mikole. Um... Uh... Or not. Okay, let's see what he's got. I wandered into this weird house by accident. Yeah, because I mean, I might as well do the switch, play the little switch out game if if I run into a headbutt level Zigzagoon, which, as I have predicted, I did. So I'm going to play the little switch out game because I figure I'm going to have to heal Mikole before this route is over again anyways. So I might as well use Mikole's, uh ability to take a bit of damage to get a lot of experience points for Athlan, no? Or some experience points for Athlan, at least. And also looks like another level on Mikolay's resume, which is great, because I like stats. Um, uh, what's that? Yep. No interesting moves or anything, but a level. And another Pokemon that's really weak to fighting type moves. Huh, how about that? See, I told you, my, I told you, uh, Zigzagoons get destroyed by fighting type moves. You've seen the truth to that already, I'm afraid. But okay, now he's lost, which means there's nothing, there's nothing left to threaten me in the trick house, or at least this section of the trick house. When I come back after beating another gym, there will be something to threaten me. But at this moment, the threat is not there. Uh, so I just have to cut down the rest of these trees and I should be out. So, uh, cutting down the trees, cutting down the trees. Continuing to cut down trees. And see, there's the door. It's pretty cool music, too, I think. So, Trickmaster is fabulous, etc., etc., and now we've d now we've beaten this level of the uh, Trick House. So you can talk to him, and he gives you a thing. Most my equal in greatness by six places. I've obtained the rare candy. A rare candy being an item that raises the level of one of your Pokemon by one. I will use it, but I don't know on whom. Let's see. Yeah, where is it? 
I'm probably going to save this. I don't see any reason to use it immediately. I'm probably going to save it for when I catch a new Pokemon. A Pokemon that I really need to train quickly and that I can't really afford to use in battles in case he starts to die. So yeah, I, th I think Rare Candies are, are... It's going to be most useful for getting my current Pokemon up to... S for getting new Pokemon up to snuff with current Pokemon. Okay, I'm sort of exhausted now, so... I have to finish this route before I heal or anything like that, which means going to the right from here, and I'll talk to this lady. Yeah, I have to take a leisurely walk on the low road. Cycling road comes later, but you can't. But it's not possible to have gotten a bike by this point in the game. Anyway, this has been another exciting episode of Let's Play Pokemon Sapphire, etc., etc., and I'm going to have to finish this route. I'm going to have to uh, make a second part for this route because I'm... It's exhausted, and I don't want to do it immediately now, so... Alright.